Hello all, welcome back to Edgemoon Tutorials. In this video, we shall see the conversion of an NFA to a DFA. That is a non-deterministic finite automata to a deterministic finite automata. So before going that, we just see, a, uh, just to have a glance of the what is the difference between the NFA and the DFA. So basically NFA and DFA, both the machines have the five tuples. So Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and F, where Q is the number of states. Sigma is the number of input symbols, Q0 is the initial state and F is the set of final states. Coming to the delta function, that is the only thing different in uh, NFA and DFA. So here delta is equal to Q cross sigma is equal to 2 power Q and in DFA it is Q cross sigma goes to Q. That is in NFA, when you read a symbol from any state, the input symbol, it can go to any number of possible states. So that will be almost equal to 2 power Q. And in DFA, we can clearly determine what is the next state. So that is why it is written as Q cross sigma goes to Q. So that is in DFA, when you read a symbol in a state, it goes to particularly only one state. Therefore, any NFA can be converted into DFA uh, using the process that is going to discuss now. So when you find the equivalent DFA for the NFA, the tuples will change like if uh, NFA is containing Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and F, the number of states in DFA will be greater than Q. So that is assuming that if NFA has Q state and DFA has Q dash states, so all the states in Q dash are basically the set that is obtained from NFA. That is when we combine more number of states as a single state, we obtain a new state in DFA. So we see that with an example now. So now we take an example of designing a finite automata over sigma equal to 0, 1 where all the strings end with 1, 0, 1 the similar example we have discussed in our earlier videos. So we see the two different machines and we try to convert uh, an NFA to DFA and we check whether we get the same machine or not here. So the two machines will be like and this is an NFA given here uh, with four states A, B, C, D and you can see that uh, a on 1 goes to A and also B, so it has a traversal of 1 which is going to 2 states from A as marked in the green there. So A on 1 goes to A and as well as B. So whatever the string we take, for example if we take a string comparing these two strings in the first string here 0 1 0 1 0 1 so until uh, the first three symbols will be in the first state itself 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. and after the fourth symbol 101 1, we traverse forward and we reach the final state but in the case of the second one after reading the first symbol itself from the second symbol we go to the uh, next state that is we read the first symbol in a and next 101 1 will go into the next possible states so we cannot determine when to go forward in this until uh, we check all the combinations in nfa Similarly, if we take a DFA for this one, this is the DFA that we have discussed in the previous examples that is ending with 101. So these are the two different machines accepting the same language here. So this is the table as you can see for the NFA given. So clearly you can see here a state on a symbol goes to more than one state. So that is clearly an NFA here. So we try to convert this NFA into DFA directly by the table. So here in this uh, video we are not discussing how the total working is given here. But you can assume that all the states that are obtained are a subset of these four states. That is here we have four states so total we will get 2 power 4 that is 16 possible combinations. Like the following 16 combinations where you can start with the 5 that is a null set and individually A, B, C, D and with a possible two combinations a b a c a d b c b d and c d next with the set of three states that is a b c a c d a b d and b c d and finally all the four states so these are the possible combinations that may come when you convert an nfa to dfa with four states so the initial state for the equivalent dfa we again take a as the initial state in the equivalent dfa for the given nfa so a on 0, let us take it as a, or a dash, for our convenience we take it as a dash. So when we compute the transition of a dash on 0 from the given table of NFA, it looks like. 
So you can see the transition of a dash on 0 goes to a dash, but a dash on 1 goes to a dash and b dash which we have obtained here. So from the table since a new possibility is obtained a dash and b dash, we take it as a next new state in the table of the DFA. So here we are not writing all the possible transitions just from the table obtained, we can check that. So the next table a dash and b dash on 0, we check the two states from the given NFA table as shown here. So a dash and b dash, these are the equivalent NFA states in a dash and b dash for the given DFA. So a dash and b dash on 0 goes to a and c. So now we again obtain a new state called ac. So therefore I am writing it as a dash and c dash. And you can check that in the table from the NFA table. ab on 1 goes to there is only the possibility is a b because for b there is no transition for the input symbol 1. So again in the table we get a dash and b dash. So from the values that are obtained now in the table you can see that a dash and c dash are the new possible combination. So we take it as a new state again. So now from the table again you compare now this a and c states. So a c on 0 goes to again the state called a because for c there is no transition here. So simply we write C for uh, 0 transition and AC on 1 goes to ABD. There is a new combination again. So ABD. So since we write it as A dash, B dash and D dash. So that is a new combination of the state. Okay, just check here. This is A dash, not C dash here. So now the new combination that is obtained is AB dash, A dash, B dash and D dash is a new state that is obtained here. So when you compare the zero transition for a dash, b dash and d dash, we compare these three states. So that is equal to a, that is a dash, and the next one is a dash and b dash. So actually when we convert an NFA to DFA, the maximum possible combinations are 2 power q. But here in this example we got uh, 4 combinations and there are no combinations that are new in the table. So that we can decide that the remaining combinations are unreachable from the initial state. So we just leave the table here. That is, when there are new, no possible new combinations in the table, you can stop the conversion of NFA to DFA. And if you write the transition diagram for the table that is obtained, it looks like this following diagram. So which is exactly same as the DFA that we have done with the PQRS states in the starting of this video. So this is same, exactly same as the DFA that we already implemented for the strings 101 ending with 101. So you can see that the NFA is converted into DFA. In this example we have directly done that with using the table, but generally we do with that uh, transition functions as we shown for the first uh, row of the DFA table. So here simply repeat the steps again for your convenience. So from the NFA table how we converted this DFA table is initially we take the starting state A the same here and we continue to observe the table here. So A on 0 goes to A but A on 1 goes to A and B. So we take this one as new combination here and we replace that new state in the table. So again we compare this A dash and B dash from this table. So AB on 0 goes to new possibility that is AC here. So that is what we got here. And AB on 1 goes to AB already we have here. So that is here. So from the available table till then, the new state is AC. So we take that A dash C dash. So again we compare this A and C here. So A on 0 and C on 0 that gives us a combination of A dash here. And here we have A, B and D here. So finally until we get no new combinations we continue this process. And coming to the final state here, the final state in the original NFA is D here. So from the table that is obtained from the NFA to DFA, we can check where the D is available in the table. So we can make all the mess final states here. If there is another combination of D in the states that are available, uh, that will also be a final state in the DFA. So simply you can make the final state as this one is example. That is a final state that is accepting the states. I mean the strings ending with 101. So this is how we convert an NFA to a DFA. 
and in the next video we can go with the NFA with epsilon transition that is reading an empty string how to process a NFA and then how to convert an NFA with epsilon most to an NFA thank you all